И можем. Спасибо. До свидания. So today I'm going to a forest in the middle of nowhere to find a gravestone of a plane that fell out of the sky in 1943. It's a uh, the history is pretty incredible. It's a American plane and they have four Soviet pilots and for some unknown reason it crashed in 1943 in the middle of a forest and I'm off to find this gravestone and this grave site. So join me on this journey. It's absolutely amazing out here in the countryside. Nobody around at all. Nobody here. And um the view, the scenery is incredible, absolutely incredible. Now, because of the type of camera I have, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the the forest and stuff, but I'll just check it out. It really is incredible. No one else around at all. Just forest and forest and fields. Perfect. So here it's saying gas. And then over here there's a sign saying um basically you're not allowed to go hunting um and it's got a actual um advert for how to get your hunting license really quickly so um yeah so the place where you're not allowed to go hunting is an advert how to get your hunting license so that you can go hunting here it says that the area is under security so that if you want to go in there and go hunting or whatever you want to do then you're probably going to get caught so just coming through this village and it's literally in the middle of nowhere and then you find a house like this pretty amazing pretty unexpected and i've just seen a war memorial so i'm going to go check that out and there's a couple of kids at the side of the war memorial thinking what's going on hello, hello. how are you good thank you my name is sam Вы здесь живете, да? Конечно. А, -а, -а. а вы откуда? Я вообще в Владимире живу, но я из Англии. So the navigation is taking me down here. It says two and a half kilometers down this road. Blimey. I hope it's right. I hope it doesn't just lead me into the middle of nowhere. I've, I've had a couple of navigation issues before. <laughs> Just look how beautiful the Russian countryside is. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really hope my navigator hasn't gone crazy because we've been on this road for ages now and we're in the middle of nowhere. This is crazy. <laughs> how can a navigator, a navigation system, decide that this is the road. There must be a, a normal road to get there. I don't fancy this drive to work any day. This would be pretty crazy, wouldn't it, every day? Having to come up this road. Imagine when it's raining and stuff. So I'm just come to this village, driving through this village, and what's the first thing I see? The Soviet flag up there. How amazing is that? In the middle of the village, Soviet flag flying away. And then a bit further down the road, we've got the Russian flag. How great is that? Здравствуйте. Скажите, пожалуйста, я видел в интернете, что есть клавиши, клавиши, где самолет упал в сорок третьего года. А как туда поехать? Это где находится? Ага, пятьдесят, хорошо. Ладно. А, ладно. Хорошо. Ага. Свернете направо и поедете прямо по этой лесной дороге. Ага. И там будет табличка. Ладно. Так получается до конца направо. До конца едете сюда. Ага. ага. Потом пойдет газовый трасс. Ага. Туда прямо дорога пойдет. Ага. Вдоль леса. 
Ладно. 50 указатель. Ага. Ладно. Сворачивайте направо ага. по этой лесной дороге. И прямо едете ага. по лесной дороге, вы доедете там указатель. Хорошо, отлично. Вот. Спасибо. Понятно. Спасибо. Check out this church. Pretty amazing. Looks like it's been refurbished, so I'm guessing all the people here put their money together to refurbish it. Still haven't got used to wearing this hat. Um, the people, especially when you come out to the middle of nowhere, look at you like you're just crazy. They're not used to seeing like a, an English guy with a, a Cossack banya hat walking around their village. I bet they think, what a twat, who is this guy? What the, what the fuck's wrong with him? First of all, because it's a, a, a hat, Cossack hat, and second of all, because this hat is actually for the banya. You only wear this in the banya. It's designed specially to keep your head cool from the heat, so it's like really thick. And um, people are thinking it's, it's a hot summer's day. Why is this English guy walking around in this Cossack hat? What's going on? So in the village, the village man has told me to take a right at the end of the road. Now, I've come to a fork, so I'm hoping it is right here. Now I've got two more right turns. Oh man. So I've found number 52. But I need number 50. So, oh man. Right, so I'm completely lost. Um, it's not that I understood what the guy told me to do and where to go, because you're going to the end of the village and then turn right, you're going to see number 50 and then turn right by that and it's going to be there. But. I haven't found number 50. I've been driving around this forest for ages, completely lost. Um, I've made my way back to the village now, so I'm going to go back to the village and uh, see if I can find someone else to ask where this place is. So I just had an amazing conversation with a village lady who didn't even know about this um, graveyard, about this plane falling down in 1943. I had an amazing conversation with her and um, she just seemed like a really nice person, but you know, fortunately I didn't have the camera out because I it's a bit awkward sometimes, you know, I'm in the middle of a village with a stupid Soviet hat on and a, and a camera asking for directions. It, it, sometimes you don't really feel all that comfortable. I've almost completely given up looking for this thing. Just driving around these forest roads, got no idea where I'm going. Um, you know, I know that if I take a turn the wrong way, I'm going to be lost, you know, for hours. So this is just getting crazy, this is now, like... And the way the people describe the, the road to me, like, yeah, you just go down that road there as if it's a road. It's not a road. It's just like a dirt track and they all look the same. There's no way to know which one's the main dirt track or what. It's just crazy. So, man, I'm lost. <laughs> Смотри, развилка, а я так направо или налево? Нет, вы проезжаете. Там Хорошо. Первая развилка, вы ага. проезжаете. А потом будет линия электропередач. Ага. Вот так вот. Тоже развилка, две дороги ага. туда. Налево, направо. Вот. Ага. И вы поворачиваете направо, направо, да? Направо, и там будет знак. Хорошо. So I know I'm, I'm going the right way, at least towards some civilization, because there's electricity here on the right side of me. So that's nice to see. Самолет. Да, да, самолет, да? Туда, да? Uh, хорошо, спасибо. Я просто снимаю блог. Ничего страшного, хорошо, я просто... Спасибо. Тогда я может за тобой. Давайте, Фуди. So, there's this uh, young girl on a bike with a dog and a basket. Typical ha, village experience. And uh, she's now going to show me the way. How great is that? Спасибо. So that was really amazing of this girl. Her name's Sofia. And... Um, she said, you know, she showed me how to get here and uh, apart from this being the the uh, place where I'm going to find this uh, graveyard of this plane that um, crash landed here at the same time, this is the road to the next village where hopefully I'll find some um, asphalt road and I can uh, get back to civilization again. <laughs> Amazing guys, we have found it, we have found it. So good, in the middle of nowhere. I've literally been driving around this forest for like three hours. That's so cool. So here is the sign. So this says Mesta Ghibli Equipage Samolyota A20G1 Boston 
from the 173rd Istra Bitlnova Aviatsonova Polka Asobova Naznachenia Dalnova uh, Distvi Yulia uh, 1943. So basically, so basically, this means that the heavy bomber Boston from the 173rd Division um, fell here and crashed in 1943. So a bit of history for you there. Um, I'm not really one to show you much history to be fair. Um, I prefer to try and show more modern things, but sometimes it's really cool just to just to find these things in the middle of nowhere. And to be fair, I thought today's uh, blog was going to be an easy one. Um, I've been kicked out of so many places lately, guys. I've been kicked out. I tried to find an abandoned rocket base, got kicked out. I went to a, a really amazing children's summer camp that was abandoned, got kicked out of there. So today I thought, I'm going to go and do a nice easy blog. Little did I know that I would be in the middle of a forest for like three hours looking for this place. But let's go check it out because I'm really excited now that finally we found it. So I've just come across like a random motorcyclist in the middle of here who's going to show me where this uh, plane's lying because I've been, he said 20 meters and I've driven like two miles down this road since the sign and I found absolutely nothing. I'm, it's kind of weird, I'm in the middle of the forest getting really stressed out looking for this thing. So we're going back now towards the sign. Let's see if we can find it. And every time, you know, <laughs> it's been one of those days, every time I go to film, the camera won't turn on, it's only overheating. So it's just ridiculous, just really, I'm getting really frustrated in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere, looking for this bloody plane that's falling down. Thank God for nice people. So I found two people and they're uh, showing me where to go because I was just going crazy then. But they think I'm really weird wearing this hat, but uh, just part of, <laughs> part of life. Ah, what the heck? It's a foster image, yeah, yeah, vlogs, no matter. Let's see if it is there to what. Ah, what the heck? Now, can you hear it? It's a long, this is what. Warong, it was born. Uh huh. 29 years old, it was born. I had also been in the Dwevni, what? Как называется? Oh, Плоско... Люди не знают, не что знаю. такое существует, да? да? Это бывает, бывает. Вот, я спросил, есть сколько Лури, спросил, такой, сколько да. Лури, все так, нет, нет, я ничего не знаю. А что есть, там? Есть. Это воронка, это воронка, как раз вот это вот, как раз. А -а -а. Здесь вот обкопали, здесь это самое, они, кто вот э, занимается этим, они ага. обломки искали, вот, ну и как бы вот здесь вот. Я просто ожидал, наверное, я не нашел, потому что я искал самолет какой-то огромный в лесу, я думал, вот так, вот, вот, я же не знал, вот одна женщина мне говорила, а, там самолет, ты видишь, я думал, ой, самолет, я искал, искал, ну, что я сразу не знаю, здесь вот старики еще разговаривали, говорили еще, когда я был маленький, вот такой же, там был, да, самолет, там обломки самолета. Мы искали ага. там вообще в другом месте. Там еще один самолет ага. упал. Но, правда, там уже не знают, там где-то. Это уже потеряно. Там ага. Со временем все это уже ушло. Ага. Вот. А там где-то вот там под Палашкиным, где... Где? Чего? Ага. Нифига не знали. А потом вот как-то раз... Вот и видишь, вот... Так кто-то вот нашел... Кто Я вот... в интернет нашел, что здесь это, да, да типа да, два-три да. года назад они что-то сделали, да, как это не церемония или что-то, да, 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 как раз вот, да. было вот лет, наверное, нет, побольше, наверное, лет пять назад. А, да? И что, от самолета? А. Да я не знаю, ну, может быть, самолета. может быть. А зачем ты в карман доверяешь? Это свежий, да, кто-то положил недавно, или это уже... Да, это недавно кто-то положил. Молодцы, а. У нас мой дед... Ага. Мой дед. Это значит, э, Матвей, это твой прапрадед. Был ага. летчик-стребитель. Да? Да. Ой. Ой. Сам вот, а -а -а. то есть я и парашютист. И... А, -а, -а <laughs> да. Ой. Значит, у вас скоро праздник или... Да? Да. Вот. Во 2 августа так. у меня праздник. С наступающим, с наступающим. Вот. Я не понимаю, может один вопрос, не основной да? вопрос. Почему... На этот праздник люди в фонтане это любят это ходить. Ну это Что я за не вот знаю. Что, почему именно фонтаны? Это вот страны, да? Я не вот знаю. Это... Ну да, день вот. ВМФ, вот, вот, вот. ВДВ, фонтан, вот это... ВДВ фонтан. Ну я не знаю, так что-то принят. Как, как пошло. Вот так. Я тоже думал, это не Москвы, да? Я думал, если бы вы Москвы или что-то вот так, да, понятно, они типа вот так. So we found the um, 
we found the graveyard, the grave piece um, of the four people that, that fell, uh, that died here you know, when it crashed. I cannot begin to tell you how glad I am I'm back in civilization. I think when you're in the middle of the forest and you've got no idea where you're going, no idea where you are, you become a little bit stressed out because you think you're going to get lost in the middle of nowhere and, and no one's going to find you and you're going to, your car's going to break down. All these anxious thoughts start running through your head. Thankfully, I've made it here to this uh, housing uh, territory of Palashkina. And um, here in front of us, we have a war memorial dedicated to those people from this area who died in the war against fascism or as we know it of obviously uh, the second world war and here it says Vichnir Slava Geroyum Pavshim Bayach Zarodina so that means um, uh, forever glory to the heroes who um, died and gave their lives in the war and look here we've got like this seating area and then we've got like a podium so I'm guessing that sometimes there's things going on maybe a celebrations I guess um, on the day of the anniversary of the of the end of the war people come and they sit here and they uh, and they have like a little celebration as they do in you know in every other town it's pretty cool isn't it then look who we have here Mr Lenin a silver Mr. Lenin. Pretty cool, eh, Mr. Lenin? Is it for just the Vladimir Yakut? Kak? Da da da. But kako je uopće to? A vo kako da da rođi dvije po po kružnoj. A ti to je što stoji. To da da. Ispo sam na levo i vpred. Ha, šo. Spasiba. So it seems people here are just a bit crazy. I've just like literally gone all the way to the end of the road like this guy told me. Turn left, gone all the way to the end. I've seen someone else and I've said, is this the right way to Vladimir? He's like, no. You need to go all the way back where you came from and go the, and go right at the end of the road. I'm like, oh my word. It's just crazy. It's just crazy this is. no idea where the fuck I am. It's pretty crazy. I'm just following the other cars. Because they've got Vladimir region license plates. And um, so hopefully we're heading in the direction of Vladimir, but I've got no idea at all because my uh, phone's got no network at all. So really, I just don't know. I'm just, it's just, it's just really weird, really strange feeling. It's been one of those days. I've been lost pretty much all day. The phone's had no reception all day. And uh, we've been just in the middle of nowhere looking for something that I thought was going to be really easy to find. I thought today wasn't going to be adventurous at all. And it ended up being the complete opposite. And it seems like the adventure still hasn't finished. So my navigation's still not working, but I've just come past this place I've never seen before in my life. So let's go and have a look at it. Ah, and look down here, I think here is going to be Svitaya Vada which means holy water basically, it's just like spring water you can come and fill up and take home there's a little well there and look, you can just fill that up and then take it home that's what a lot of people do here in Russia they come to places like this to, to the spring and uh and get the uh, water themselves from here and they prefer to drink this obviously because it's like holy water as well rather than rather than buying it from a shop Давай. 
So uh, end of the day and I've just decided to come for a quick swim because it's been an epic day, a real epic day. So I come for a quick swim. I've just realised I'm wearing the gayest, um, I don't know if you're allowed to say that anymore, I'm wearing the gayest uh, underwear. Look at that. So you had to see my body and my uh, shorts. So I'm going to go for a quick dip, cool off because it's been a, an epic day, it really has been. Ah, oh, that's perfect, feel loads better now. Gonna put the camera down, have a real swim, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it, it was a bit of a crazy day, but I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.